Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Lefty Live. That is what I'm calling it now. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I figured I'd start a little early. I am ready to go. My kid went to sleep. Uh, everything's set up. I'm just waiting on um, Kyle Red Wolf EDC and Joe from the Knife Whisperer to join me. Uh, I think Joe will be on for just a little bit, like a half hour maybe, before he has to run to work. Uh, Got to pay the bills. And uh, then Red Wolf, uh, Kyle and myself will hang out with you guys till maybe 9.30, 10. Uh, and then I'll, uh, you know, wrap it up and uh, finish off my Thirsty Thursday. Um, hope you guys are having a drink, whatever it is, water, soda. I'm drinking out of my blue balls. I had a viewer send me, a viewer gave me blue balls, which is weird. I never thought I'd get blue balls from a guy, but <laughs> it happened. So what can I say? Uh, look at these little balls right here. Here's a little dick. Look at that. <laughs> Bye. There's a beer in there. What's up? Uh, yeah, this thing's cool. And he also gave me a uh, a little bunny for my daughter. It's hilarious. Some lady in uh, Canada, wherever he lives, crochets this. To, all right, I can't get the dick straight. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that. Um, yeah. So, Jordan, what's up, dude? Um, I'd be waiting, Kev. Yeah, right. I know. I figured I'd start early and hang out with you, man. What happened to your beard? I shaved it. Duh. What kind of fucking question is that? Actually, so I shaved the beard yesterday. I figure I gotta get ready for Blade Show, right? I gotta look all spiffy. And um, I shaved the beard, and then I was like, "Fuck it, I need a haircut." And my wife usually cuts my hair because of COVID. Couldn't go to the hair place, you know. So I would, uh, I would have her cut it, and I bought this really, like, really nice. I bought this decent like hair trimmer. I went through a couple, like, beard hair trimmers that suck ass. Um, but I got these really decent ones. And yesterday, I was like, fuck it. I, on my lunch, I just started shaving my head or, you know, buzzing. And I got, like, 98% of it. And then she had to just kind of finish it off and, you know, trim it and whatever. So that's what happened to my beard. Yeah, baby face. What's up? You wish you could look 32. Ha-ha. <laughs> Saka. Uh, which knife did you shave with? <laughs> I actually, uh, now that you ask, it was the uh, mermaid. This thing will get you a close shave, man. I'm telling you. Get a little bit of that uh, foam shit going, shaving cream. Daily Carry Solutions don't got shit on me when it comes to shaving. <laughs> nah, dude. I'm kidding. Of course I used the Shadow Ranger. Duh. Use that for everything. Mostly folders and a bit of everything. Hey, welcome. I don't think I've ever seen you in the live stream before or seen you comment. So I uh, appreciate you stopping by. Unless you changed your name recently or something, that's possible too. I want a mermaid, man. Maybe one day. Just go buy one. Just go buy one for Blade HQ, dude. You just bought like a five hundred dollar J cake. You can't buy a. Uh, how much is a? Here, I'm gonna look it up. You know me, I love this shit, right? Blade HQ. Let's look it up together while we wait for uh, Kyle and Joe. Oh, look at this Memorial Day set, oh, Kaiser. Um, did I say that out loud? Mermaid. Here we go. There she is. Look, dude, she's 30 bucks. Jordan. Jordan, you're an absolute uh, tool. If you don't just order this right now, you say you want one. You say you want one. That's not the type of thing you buy. It has to be given, like Godolica. Ah. Nah. Is that true? I don't know, man. This is pretty cool. I didn't buy this, so I get your point. All right, whatever. Well, I'm not buying it. For well, hey, can I get it on Amazon and just ship it to you? Let's see. 
There is a new rule that I have to buy something on every episode. So let's see. I think I have your address, don't I? Pirate ship. Let's see. Jordan. Oh, look at that. I got your address, sucker. North Carolina, huh? All right, well. Add to cart. What's the ship? It's like two ninety nine. Look at that. Even has my email. You think I'm gonna remember my password? Come on. Holy shit! I remember it. Now, don't show everybody that. Oh, shit. You're going to see my address. Oh, well, everybody knows my address already. I'm going to change the address. Hang on, guys. I'm going to remove this from the stream while I order this. I don't want anybody to see Jordan's address. Oh, yeah. I can just copy it on my phone, right? Copy. Do, 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 do. Pardon me, folks. Just need a second here. If you're just joining, I apologize. I am currently on Blade HQ ordering a mermaid knife for my buddy Jordan. City. Two, eight, two. Don't worry, I'm not going to give away any of your info, bro. I got you. He does live in North Carolina, guys. That's scary. I'll just put my phone number. I don't need to save the address, but whatever. All right. Hey, come back. All right, dude. I'm sorry. The only thing I'm not doing is dishing out for anything but first class. So you must click the check box. Check. Okay, dude. Jeez. Twist my arm, fucker. Boom. All right. We have successfully ordered the mermaid knife for Jordan. All right. There we go. I can confirm this. Hopefully you won't uh, see anything. See that? Order. There's your total. Rainbow Mermaid Liner Lock. Boom. The obligatory uh, live stream purchase has been made. Okay? So nobody tell me that I didn't do it. All right. Let's see. Who else is up in here? Uh, what's your thoughts on the Synapse XL? So, I had a Synapse XL, and it's a really good knife. I, I Actually, it's probably, other than the Gen 2 Synapse, it's probably my favorite Vero. Now, there's a, there's a kind of asterisk there. It depends on your hand size. So, if you have a really big-ass hand, XL is for you, dude. Really solid knife. They're both fantastic. The XL... And the Synapse Gen 2. Those are the best Vero's, hands down, because the clip works. Um, it has enough clearance on those. For some reason, those two have a good clip. Um, they, if you're right-handed, they do have the – they're going to have that little hot spot thing with the clip. I never had that issue, but I'm left-handed. Um, so there's that. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend the XL if you have big hands. If you don't, get the Gen 2, unless you just like big-ass knives. Uh, sorry, Joe is trying to tell me that he's having issues with his camera. Going to try and manually log on? What does that mean? How do you manually, manually log on? I don't know how you do that. Uh, go to um, StreamYard. Put in my email. Sorry, guys.
technical issues. All right. Sorry about that. Um, that's not the type of thing you buy. It has to be given. Oh, yeah. We already did this. All right. You really didn't have to do that, but thank you. <laughs> hey, man, you said you wanted one, and you said you wouldn't buy it. It has to be gifted. So, bang, gifted. Guys, something wrong with me? I, I just keep saying bang all the time now, like I'm infected with Neve's knives. It's pissing me off. I'm doing it in videos. Like, I'm doing it in, like, my life now. I'm just like, bang. Jesus. Uh, what's up, Michael Morgan? Michael Morgan in the house. Who is this well-groomed pretty boy we're left yet? Yeah. What can I say, man? I clean up pretty well sometimes. I'm getting ready for the Blade Show. If you know what I'm saying. Um, no, I just get to a point where, um, hey, Peter's in the house. What's up, Peter? Um, I get to a point where the beard gets too long and, you know, like it gets to a point where it gets itchy and everybody says you just got to get past the itchy part and then it's fine. I never get past it. Uh, that itchy part lasts for like six months and I just eventually give in and I shave it. Plus I like having like the, the like five o'clock shadow beard. You know what I mean? Like a week from now, that beard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like that. You know, uh, that's my kind of beard right there. Hey, Kevin, this Sezzle thing is legit, right? Oh yeah, dude, Sezzle's the shit. I love Sezzle, man. That's how you pay for shit over six weeks. They charge you every two weeks, and you pay like at the time you pay at time of order, you pay a quarter, and then every two weeks for uh, six weeks, you pay another quarter of it. I use this shit all the time because then. My wife doesn't kill me. Like, it's not about the money. It's about, oh, you just spent 500 bucks. You know what I mean? It's a lot It's a lot softer hit. It's like 125 125 125 I usually don't have to explain myself. So don't tell her, guys. She might be watching. Oh. Bang. Uh, that's why you have blue balls. Can't stop thinking about banging. <laughs> yeah, so for anybody who uh, just joined, a viewer in Canada, shout out to Anthony, sent me. No, he gave me. God damn it. I keep fucking that up. He gave me blue balls. <laughs> Look at this. The little penis with balls. <laughs> YouTube's going to love this. And then it opens up. Did you know there's a beer in there? It wasn't just a big blue dick. Ah, it's cool, right? Actually, I can keep this cold while it's sitting here, right? I don't know what's going on with my guests here. Um, pretty sure Kyle just doesn't know what time it is because he's on the West Coast. Let's see. Yeah. What else we got here? Peter, of course. Everybody's welcoming Peter. Please welcome Peter. Uh, baby Kev. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Ignition blade. Kev, you're definitely getting itted. ID everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Guys, just forget that I talked like that for a second. ID at Blade Show that may be. By the time I go to Blade Show, it'll be a little bit better. And fuck it, I get ID'd. I'm good with that. I am of age, so I've had a go to your full beard for 32. Damn, that's how old I am. You know. That beard's older than me. It's crazy. Yeah, first time using it today. Yeah, Sezzle's cool. Afterpay's cool. Uh, there's one other one that I can't remember. Oh, PayPal pay in four, but it's kind of like iffy. Uh, looks like Red Wolf is here, but I don't see him. It's just white. So I don't know what's going on here. And Joe is saying, no, what the fuck? So, great. We're having tons of luck. Uh, let me show this. 
Send them a link again. Yeah, I'm trying to get these guys on, and I don't know what the hell is going on. Edit mic settings. Edit name. No. I can add him, but he's not going to be there, is he? It's just loading. It must be his internet is, like, poor. I know mine's not because I just got a new router, and I got an adapter for my MacBook to plug into Ethernet. So my internet is balling out right now. And, uh... I could probably, I'll prove it to you. Watch this. I'll prove it to you because I'm crazy like that. Oh, no, wait. There he is. Hang on. All right, I'm going to remove this Kyle and pull up this Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Are you there? We hear you. Oh, my God. Yeah, great. Behind the scenes, guys. You're going to see Kyle curse a lot. Um, did your power go out last night? Storm. No, but it was a crazy ass storm. That's for damn sure. Um, you'll get Vax ID. Vax ID, like the vaccination. I, I did get the Vax, the vaccine. Um, Peter, I'm 48. I'm feeling the old thing. <laughs> Kyle, can you hear me? Look, he's got a baby face too. We're both baby facing it. All right, he can hear me. That's good. But he's not talking. <laughs> oh, boy. This is fun. Uh, let's see. Kev, did you. Oh, sorry. Swap to the computer. Going to listen in the background while I do some shiz. Cool, 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 Jordan. Uh, mostly folders and a bit of everything. I was a knife hero at work today. Everybody just had utility knives, knives, and we're struggling trying to cut one, cut one and a half inch foam rubber into shapes. I lent them my Chaparral and S35 Elementum and saved the day, dude. You are the man. You should get an award for that at work. You should get a promotion. Jesus, they need to give you a raise, bro. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Peter's going to be 50 in July. He doesn't know how that happened. Well, I'm guessing he just got old, man. That's <laughs> good. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, it seems like my guests are having very big technical issues here. Hold on, he's sending me a message. This thing is not connecting. Um, I've been backstage a couple times, and like, you sound like a robot, and I don't know what's going on, man. All right, yeah, he's having uh, very bad technical issues, uh, which sucks because he's trying to have those guys on. He's back again. Kyle. What's up, man? I finally hear you. Thank you. Thank God. Maybe you got better internet out in your kitchen or something. <laughs> Uh-oh. No, right, yeah. I see you. Set it up. Okay. I wanted to show you my blue balls. <laughs> They're right here. So, if anybody doesn't know, Kyle here is a Red Wolf EDC on YouTube and Instagram, formerly known as Prince. Uh, no, I mean uh, Kyle J. Lanfear. <laughs> and uh, he's a big fucking ginger who doesn't give a fuck, and I love him for it. So. Pretty much. Also, I was called, I just was for you. Today. It hurt my feelings. Oh, just fuck. for you, dude. I wore this tonight. The leper watch. <laughs> Which is fantastic. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with Joe. I don't know if you guys just both have shitty internet or what. I, I, I think it has to do with StreamYard, brother, because I had to try a whole bunch of different times. <laughs> and everything has permission, so I don't understand what's going on, man. You say he doesn't know what's going on. I don't know. I, I've never had an issue, though, with StreamYard. To be uh, fair, I pretty much always do, but this one's exceptionally bad. Have you tried restarting your phone? If not, 
Don't so worry are we about actually it. live right now, or are we just uh, hanging out? Like, Say that again? I said, are we actually live right now? Yeah, 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 out? we're live right now. There's people What's up, watching. folks? <laughs> There's people watching. Kyle, oh, they man. said to get your shit together. My shit is never together, sir. Are you kidding? How's the ribs, Michael Morgan asks? Fucking hurts. Yeah? You got hit by a... Uh, yeah. Got bad in this shit. Fucking bad timing. What the hell hit you again at work? What's up? What hit you at work? Oh, a safe door? Yeah. <laughs> that big heavy ass fucking 2,000 pound thing? Yeah. Sucked. Man. The oh, funny man. thing is, dude, is the machine malfunctioned by like that much. It was like nothing. But it was enough to devastate my ass semi flying. Like, that's a lot of weight. Yeah, especially for a big dude like you. Like, damn. Yeah, it sucked. Uh, Plumpy E says, what's up, Kevin? What's up, Kyle? What's up, what's Plumpy? Up, Plumpy? Why did Kyle sound like he was being held for ransom? <laughs> I'm not sure what he's talking about, but that was funny. There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> Uh, Mike Lone Wolf says, "What's up, Kyle? Better stop talking shit, Pete. I'm gonna send you a fuck the puss too." Uh oh. Yeah, it's <laughs> in the other room. I should have grabbed it. It matches. The, it matches the blue balls. That's fine. Uh, Ignition blade. Does Sezzle have interest? No. So you just pay over six weeks, but you just pay the same amount you would if you paid it up front. Literally, so the way Sezzle, Afterpay, and I guess PayPal pay and for, the way all those work is the company, the business that uses it is agreeing to use it, so they pay a fee. Um, so when you order something off of Urban EDC Supply with Sezzle, you pay the normal price. You never pay more, no interest. I mean, unless you don't pay it, and, you know, if you... Don't pay it, then I don't know what they do, but obviously don't you want to just run away. Just run yeah. away. Um, but the way it works is, my guess is that Sezzle gets like five or ten percent of the purchase from Urban EDC Supply. Um, that's why some companies or businesses don't use it because they don't want to give up ten percent. Or like when Knife Joy did the the Sleesh uh, Douchey Sleesh Blowy. Uh, drop. They they even said they were turning off Sezzle for that per for that drop because they pay a percentage to Sezzle. Um, and they knew, so. All right, I'll backtrack a second. The reason why a company would use it <laughs> is somebody who doesn't have the money to buy something is more likely to buy it using that than just pay with their money. You see, you're going to have a number of purchases that wouldn't have happened if they didn't have the Sezzle option. Because there's plenty of poor people who are going to be like, well, I'll pay every paycheck. It'll come out, and it's fine. Like, they, they really can't afford it, but they're doing it anyway. And they do it that way on Sezzle. Um, that person would just walk away. They'd be like, well, I can't afford it. So it's beneficial to the business to have the option because they're going to get orders they wouldn't have got. But there's stupid people out there who are like, well, I don't want to use I don't want to pay you 10% to, to process my order or whatever. Um, but I think they're being a little um, stupid. I would, If I had a business, I would definitely accept Sezzle if I was, if I was selling things that cost hundreds of dollars. Um, you know, if you sell something for 50 bucks, it's not worth it. Anyway, Did that's I my theory. Sizzle? It's a weird ass name. Yeah, it's S E Z Z L E. That's what I'm good, Sean T. Yeah, Sean T says what's up. Michael Morgan says what's up. Uh, Jay Persico, what's up? Lefty, what's up, dude? I was just chatting with I don't him get on no pass, young <laughs> It's Red Wolf C A in the house. Marcos says C A in the house. Yeah, I kind of hate California, though. So. California, baby. It's, it's in the house for the moment. Lindy Lou is in the house. Hey, Lindy. How's it going? Uh, I sizzled a 940 this morning. <laughs> nice, dude. That's cool. Uh, which version did you get? For me, it's usually like 
I don't know. It depends. I use it a lot, honestly. I go through phases where I'll use it a lot, and then I'll stop because I'm like, I need to just have them all paid off, and then I'll start again. Um, I like it just because it it feels like I'm spending less, even though I'm not. I know I'm not. Um, but for one, my wife doesn't know. I just bought a six hundred dollar knife. She just thinks I bought a hundred and seventy five dollar knife four times. <laughs> I can't do math. So pardon me there. Um, that's better. Let's see. Yeah, you're in. It seems fine right now, dude. You look good too. I meant like your picture, not you. Actually, look good. That would have been weird if I said that. <sighs> Dang, that's so oh, sweet. A little bit. Mitch says, hey, all, or y'all, sorry. What's up, Mitch? Everybody's saying hi to Lindy. Uh, UCA also, Lindy. Uh, yeah, it's think... a girl. It's a girl. Hello. Hello. Right. How are you doing? It's a There's girl. There's a girl in the comments. <laughs> um, I think she lives in, like, around Monterey Bay, because I think they were talking about visiting Monterey Bay Niles one time. I don't know. <clears throat> Uh, Kev, does your wife watch these? Like, I don't think so. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah, she watched them too. Like, bro, she's just gonna come in the other room and beat your ass. Like, I th- well, she's not here, <laughs> but uh, I think one of the only videos of mine she's ever watched is the one I did yesterday, the shittiest knives in my collection. Um, because in the thumbnail, I'm holding up this wooden knife that she gave me. Um, she Aww. gave it to me like last week from her mom's house. It's a wooden knife. She got it from her mom's because they're clearing out the house. I have a few shitty knives from her mom's house. They were her dad's. Uh, he passed away like I don't know, eight years ago. Um, but he had these shitty knives. She gave them to me, and of course, I'm the you know they're going to stay in the collection. You know, in a bag in the corner somewhere, but they're <laughs> in the collection. Uh, yeah, she said yes. I live in Monterey. All right, guys, that's a big enough clue. Chill out, all right? Um, Y'all have a nice aquarium. (laughs) (laughs) Two handsome men live streaming. Live stream flirting. Yes, that is exactly uh, what's happening here. Bunch of simps. They got a lefty. Yeah. (laughs) There are a number of CA folks here. I are one. Yes, exactly. And you talk like one, too. It's like include, include me. <laughs> What's up, Pete, man? How you been, brother? Just tell her your shittiest knives are the only knives in your collection. Yeah, she'll believe that. Yeah, the shittiest yeah. knife, the Evatac. That you created a fucking group for. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love this thing. I can't believe that people actually bought this knife because of me. Or join that group. I, Dude, to be hell fair, people I people bought that knife because of you. <laughs> I sent most of them. I think I've bought like twenty of these at least at this point. Fucking wow! Uh, because it's just funny, man. <laughs> the greatest EDC knife of all time. Um. All right, let me ask you what you're carrying, Kyle. Or we're carrying today, and if you pull out a Contigo, I'm cutting you off. Is that what that is? No, it's a oh, okay. uh, <laughs> uh, Ben's made Super Freak in my Carta. They make a my Carta one? No, nah, it's custom. Blacked That's out dope, the, the hardware, do everything else. Also, a little bit fatter if it fit my big ass hands. Where'd you get the my Carta skills? I bought them off of Knife Swap, the whole knife that way, so. Oh, okay. It came that way. Yeah. I grabbed it. So I was like, you know what? Why not? I'll do a review on it. And then I just like got it. And I'm like, I love this knife. Like, the uh, the uh, thicker my car do makes like, so, such a big difference. <laughs> yeah. Peter says they think they've made a successful knife and it's all lefties' fault. <laughs> it's so funny. But the uh, the best part, Peter, is that it's not actually the Evatac that's getting sold. It's all the M Tech knockoff ones that we're buying because they're ten bucks instead of twenty five. Um, so really, M Tech's getting all the money. Evatech was on the verge of bankruptcy until y'all boosted their yearly revenue by a thousand percent. Yeah, 
What if the greatest knife of all time? I actually attempted to buy one this week, but didn't think it would work because assisted restrictions. Oh yeah, he lives in Josh lives in Australia. Just sent him a package. Uh, he bought a ZT0393 and got all these like aftermarket parts and shit. Sent them all to me and I shipped them to Australia yesterday. Uh, it's on the way. Monsters in the house says hello, Kyle and Kev. What's um, up, monster? So How what I was carrying. Out, what? How do you like that bug out? I can't talk. Look, oh, you're talking to monster. What bug yeah. out? I gave him a bug out. Yeah, okay. Cool. You just gave it to him? Yeah. Oh. Nope. Uh, it was a bug out. No, no, it was a, a Kalashnikov. What the fuck did I give you, dude? I, I forgot. I gave somebody a bug out and I gave you something else. Um, I don't remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, a, a launch. Like a launch one, I think. I don't know. I, I'm I, sure I, he'll I, tell us. He said the launch, you mean, yeah. Okay, there we go. Um, real quick, guys, let me do my little spiel. So today I was carrying the Kunwu Tao, and I also posted a video about a pre-order. So enough people were asking me about this knife and where to get it and how they could get it and all that shit. So I talked to Kunwu, and they're doing a pre-order uh, so that we can get more of them. And there's like 60 spots. I think we've already got like 20 or 25 filled up. Um, you can get the large, which is this three and a half inch, or you can actually get the mini. I didn't know that earlier when I did the video, which I think is like 2.6 inches on the blade. Um, 170 bucks for the pre-order. You pay when it uh, when it's ready to ship, which is going to be like a month from now. Um, there is a... Uh, Google Doc, you can sign up, or you can email Sergio at KunwuKnives.com. It's all in the video I posted, um, but this knife is well worth 170 bucks. I would totally recommend you sign up for that if you want one. And now, nobody can complain they can't get one, because I'm giving you a goddamn chance. Dude, hey. every time you say that name, you sound racist. It's a Kunwu knife. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> it's Kun Wu, man. Why do I sound racist? <laughs> it's Kun Wu knives. I have another one here from them, the Ronin. This thing's interesting. See, uh, <laughs> see, but the Ronin though, you actually go Ronin. That was like Kun Wu. Yeah, but it's the like, it's the Kun Wu Ronin. The Thirty-eight Chamber of Shaolin or whatever that old house movie. Kun Wu Tao. I don't know, man. <laughs> I think you're just. I think you're racist and you're projecting it on me. That's oh, damn. <laughs> uh, I'm from California. Bro. Bro. Your way, man. I saw you signed up. Yep, yep. I'm excited. Yep, Ian signed up too. Saw that. Yeah, guys, I would definitely recommend it. Um, Kyle, I think you would like it. You have oh. one? I do not. You should sign up, dude. I'm 170 good. bucks. It's freaking. Are you not into Chinese knives? Is that a thing that you're not into? Not flippers. Not what? I'm not really into front flippers. Yeah, uh, well, it's a back flipper too. I mainly I'm really into flippers in general. Pretty much all thumb stuff. Oh my god. Oh, I hate thumb stuff. Is that that uh, best tech? Uh, bougie, bougie. uh, Togata, mm. something like yeah, that. Yeah, that that's it. Just uh, if you, if you buy it, it. of course, everything you oh, have is customized. Go. You're one of those people. I just know I saw races. Did you dye it or buy it that way? I dyed it. I'm not even like. I don't care enough to even go that far and die something. I would fuck that up, too, honestly. Honestly, yeah. I thought I was going to. I literally just took a Q-tip and I dipped it in the, in the red dye and I just painted it. Like, <laughs> it took, I had to die like 30 fucking times for it to actually stay when it worked. Yeah, I heard you got to leave it in for a while. Uh, Matt says, what's up, Kevin? I signed up. Awesome, dude. Awesome, awesome. But yeah, his name is Mateo, and uh, he spells it backwards. That's why it looks ridiculous. 
but it's really Mateo Martinez backwards. Interesting. Yeah, that's yeah. gibberish. It's kind of funny, actually. I like it. I will, See, I like, will call him Alphabet, sir. Hello, Zenny. <laughs> they call him Zenny. <laughs> His name's Matt. I love it. It's funny. Where the hell is uh, the uh, at? He's not. He, he couldn't figure it out. Uh, no, he sent another yeah. voice message. Sorry. Yeah, he, he tried just twice. And he hit join studio. It's I have hard. all my knives on my lap, too. I'll keep trying. Hang on. Guys. I just finished the show. Sorry, I couldn't make it, boys and girls. But just know, the knife licker is thinking about you all the time. And he loves you. And apparently, he needs to take some tech classes. Although, I've never had this problem before. But, Kyle, Kevin, I'll see you guys soon. Love you, boys. Peace. <laughs> Can you hear Why that? does he say our name like Jeffrey Dahmer? Kyle, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know, you know, Joe. I know, he's I know. A, so he's nice a lover. Boy, girl. That dude enunciates so much. The fuck you do to your beard. You know what? I, dude, I shaved it. Crazy. Yeah, right? Yeah, we both did. No big deal. Bro, literally, I was trying to trim it. And I was like, fuck. I'm going. Oh, really? It. You just froze with the funniest face. You're like, <laughs> That's up. Uh, Ian says he is so creepy in the best way possible. <laughs> He's talking about Joe. He is all creepy. Hey. Good hey, Ethan's in the house. What's up, Ethan? Countdown to ship off, right? He's heading to boot camp soon. Oh, shit. Joe is a good dude. Yeah, Joe is a great dude. That's why we were going to have him on the podcast, or the podcast, the live stream. Uh, but he had technical issues. I don't know. Maybe it is StreamYard. I've never had issues, though, Like because I do live streams all the time with Kyle and Jake, and Chris comes on a lot, and we never have issues getting on. Um, but we don't always use the um, – we don't use, like, the share link. We all just log in. Because we share an email address so we can all log in. That's what I was trying to tell you guys. You could have just logged in and then I could have given you the code to get on. Maybe it would have worked better. I don't know. But oh, okay. we're here now. Yeah. I just saw the link and clicked on it. That was about it. Um, so I just did a video tonight. Tonight. Today about it's a battle video. I've been doing these battle videos. They're kind of fun. The Spider Co. Drunken and the Sleesh Blowy. Um, I, I fucking hate the Bowie. Like, I know so many people love that knife. I had one of the first drops. And I was like, this knife sucks. I stole that thing hella fast. Yeah, so the first thing I said in the video was, I hate both of these. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're ugly as fucking sin, dude. Both of them are just disgusting knives. Um, they're ugly as fuck. They're not really like great ergonomically. They're okay or whatever. They don't have choils. Like that's a spider coat thing. They're they're thumb hole deployment only if you're right handed and uh, middle finger flick only left handed. Except there's some handicaps because of the way they cut the frame. Uh, this one carries like a freaking turd. Uh, <laughs> you can't even get it all the way in your pocket. And this one's like, you know, way, 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 way overrated. I, I just don't understand them. Either of them. They both suck. Um, and neither of them's worth $400 or more, uh, yeah, which dude, is what I they go for. I don't understand the buoy at all. For a while, those are going for 1000 bucks, like everywhere. I was like, fuck, this is stupid. It's Nick Chabez. Yeah. Um, when he, like, says something's a gem, all of a sudden, everybody and their mom is all over it. Like, I don't I don't understand that. Like, if I say a knife is really good, I don't see a million people trying to go buy one. I'm not trying to say I'm Nick Chavez, but, like, it yeah, doesn't I mean, seem to happen. You've got 2,000 subs or 1,600 yeah, subs, but, whatever. You, okay, you Metal it, Complex. I'm yeah, just saying in general. Path. I'm in general. Like, Metal Complex says something's good. Does, 
Every, you've never heard of a knife that's like, you got to get it because Metal Complex and it's great, you know? Um, it's only with Nick Shabazz that that happens. It's weird. That's because Nick Shabazz is everyone's weird uncle. Like, <laughs> He's no. everyone's weird uncle. Oh. Lindy says the Shabazz effect. True shit. Yeah. That's what it is. And it's so weird because the knives, my taste in knives and Shabazz's taste in knives are way different. Like, this fucking thing is, like, this thing is so far from being a gem in my eyes. First yeah. off, the first thing I see when I open this is it's not a fucking Bowie. And two, look how short the blade is compared to this enormous handle. Like, I, I just... What about this screams gen? Or, like, it's a slow roll only knife, pretty much, unless you, like, wrist it when you flick it, which is fine. They updated it a little bit on this one, I guess. Um, I, don't, I just don't, I just don't get it. $400 for slabs of titanium and M390 and a plastic G10 backspacer. Um, the Spidey oh, Chef, I had a knife joy Spidey Chef. It was two hundred bucks or two hundred and thirty bucks. Why is this one hundred and seventy dollars more? It's the same materials, except instead of LC two hundred N, which is probably more expensive than M three ninety. Like I, I'm like literally baffled. It's dude, because they no knew idea. they could get it. That being they said, knew they dude, could get it. That being said, man, the first Bowie was in CTS XHP, so like, and those are yeah. over a thousand bucks for a while. Well, and that sold for two fifty or whatever when it came out, I think. Which that seems kind of fair. So, so it, it started selling for that, and then Spyderco raised the prices to like I think it was like right. three fifty or whatever. And then now right. they did, did this this most recent drop for four hundred dollars or whatever it was. Yeah, uh, I just don't get it. Yeah. Speaking of Spyderco, Spidey Hole. <laughs> oh, dude, I always wanted to try that, but. Does it work? Can you click it? Yeah. Um, to be clear, I can't because I have these fat ass fingers. <laughs> but, uh, I, I let some of my friends do it and they, they, can, they, can, they can do it just fine. Also, yeah, I can't use this fucking hand for anything. So, like, everything is weird. I understand your pain, Kevin. Yeah. Now you I don't have to, like, weird. do this weird, funky thing to get it out. <laughs> it sucks. I hate yeah, it. Yeah. So and closing it's fucking weird, right? You gotta like push it over and then start closing it and then shake it. Okay, that's it's why I sick. love this freaking uh, this uh, tube thing. I can actually play with this knife, which just works. It's easy. It's also sharp as shit, and I got myself like four times, so. Yeah, that, that happens too, dude. My thumb has been fucked up like more than one time just because of closing knives. Because you're always putting the blade in the path of your thumb when you're left-handed <laughs> and clothing a right-handed knife. Yeah, I just cut a pretty decent chunk of my finger off a little bit ago. I love your uh, Lefty makes great points. Well, are we in like an alternate universe right now? Hey, sometimes. <laughs> to be fair, he'll record like a 20-minute video and have like three great points and the rest are all bullshit. But it's probably not. Yep. It's because I'm, I'm I'm expecting it to be bullshit. People, for some reason, watch my videos expecting it to be, like, some informative, like, full review of a knife or, like... I had this this um, comment on my Boker video that I posted the other day. I put, all right, I posted a video on this Boker knife that Jake sent me, and I didn't know the name of it, and I didn't even bother to look it up because I fucking hated the knife, and I don't really like Boker. So the video was titled Boker question mark full review or whatever, right? <laughs> and um, yeah, so I did the whole review not knowing the name of it, like guessing the price, uh, which I was pretty goddamn close on. I said 120. <laughs> I said 120 for fucking D2, a stainless steel frame lock with G10 on one side. And on Blade HQ, the MSRP is one fifteen, but right now, because it's like ten years old, they're selling it for eighty seven bucks. So I was pretty close. Um, 
But yeah, like this dude leaves this whole thing about how people are, are on YouTube are looking to YouTubers for guidance. New knife collectors are, and, and you need to be, a, and I'm like, dude, I do this for fun. This is a hobby. And I fucking say what I think. Like, I, that's, it's my opinion. That's what the video is. You could go suck a ball sack. For all I care about <laughs> getting your information from me, like don't get information from me. Um, and then I was talking to somebody about it, and I was like, "Yeah, people who watch Nick Shabazz, people who watch Slicey Dicey, people who watch Metal Complex, they're either new knife people, or they just like those guys, so they kept following them. But the new people watch those channels." That's why they're big, because they give you a million specs, and they tell you everything about the knife, and they talk to you like a noob, for the most part. Yeah. That's, like, so 90% of the people who watch my videos, and probably your videos, they all have, like, 30 knives, or 10 knives, or want 30 knives, and, you know, um, it's people who've been in the hobby, you know what I mean? Um, so when I do a video, I don't talk like I'm talking to a noob. I just say, you know, I just talk like I'm talking to a buddy or whatever. Um, yep. I don't know. That's just kind of something I figured out today. But it makes yeah. sense. And we for need people most, like that. For the most part, I don't have that issue, except for today. That's the one I sent you a, a screenshot of. Yeah, you I saw that. <laughs> I was like, okay, bro. <laughs> Like, oh, do you want to feel included? What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. people take shit too seriously. It's so small. Well, I'll read it. Well, I'll say I've noticed a few times other streamers bring on a knife and it's sold out on Blade HQ the next day. With Shabazz, it stays that way because people decide it's their grail and don't forget. So what I would say to that is that knife was probably sold out on Blade HQ the next day, regardless. Um, and that YouTuber was able to get one somehow. Like the store, like the retailer sent it to him. Um, the company sent it to him. Like you'll notice there's some people right now who are reviewing the 80, 20.5 or whatever. Um, they had that because Demco sent it to them. You know, I get knives from companies sometimes. Like, usually that's how it works. Um, I don't think it's necessarily like they said it was good and then everybody went and bought one because I rarely will see that happen unless it's fucking Nick your best. Huh. Uh, what's going on here? I come to YouTube for entertainment. Definitely not advice or any factual. Yeah, like, thank you. I, I get it if you're looking into a knife that you want to buy, right? So you're like, hey man, I'm really kind of interested in the Asher Titanium Frame Lock Spiro thing, right? Um, I'm gonna look up videos on it to see if it fits me or whatever, right? And yeah, okay, then it's good to watch a couple videos from Slicey, Metal Complex, or Shabazz because you're going to get all these specs. You're going to get the details that you want. You're going to get the weight and that stuff, right? So you watch that, and then your second tier is I'm going to go get people's opinion on it because those first guys aren't giving you opinion. In my opinion, they're not giving you opinion. They're just giving you specs and yeah. saying this is this and this is that. You'll rarely hear one of them say, I fucking hate this knife or I hate, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, they're very PC about it because they get a lot of knives. And if they say this knife blows nuts, which this doesn't, sorry, I'm holding that up. But if they say that, then Savibi's going to stop sending them knives. So oh, yeah. I've already been that's it twice, so I get that. <laughs> I piss people off. Yeah, I do the same thing because I don't give a fuck. Like, if you want to send me knives, that's fine. But I'm going to give you my 100% honest opinion. That's what you're going to get. Um, good or bad, you're not going to know ahead of time, you know? So that's why I don't That's why I don't have companies like that reaching out to me. Not the big ones. Plus, I wouldn't anyway because of my size. But, 
because I'm fat. No, I mean because of the channel size. Dude, you're uh, growing fast as fuck, though. Like, I think you're going to get big, dude. I'm big right now. I got a big chubby right here because you said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got weird. Hey, bad timing, too. I'm trying to read the comment. I'm like, chubby. <laughs> Are you in your blue balls? Uh, got the certificate today. Thank you, brother. I don't know what that is. Cool. I'm glad you got a certificate, though. That's hey, awesome. Certificate of what? Are you I now authentic? <laughs> I respect Kevin or Kyle or Jake's opinion on it because you're actual NAF guys. Right. Ah. NAF. That's the weirdest term to me. The NAF thing. Yeah. Where that's that uh, Ben Peterson. Uh, is that where it came from? If it's not, he's trademarked the name, so he's deuce. I don't know. <laughs> what about like Nap Sergeant, though? I mean, he's got uh, whatever. Maybe. Uh, how do you, I didn't see your question until after the live. Yeah, I definitely dig Fugazi. What? Yeah, what the fuck are you guys talking about? <laughs> I love it. You got to click these things in order, bro. The blue balls are hilarious. I am clicking them in order. Blue balls are not hilarious. That is a problem, sir. When did Kyle's hair fall, little Lord Fauntleroy? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's funny. I feel like I it's think he's trying bad. to say Farquaad, like from, from Shrek or whatever. No, I think it's from like a, it's from like an old people's movie. That's no, my I guess. Have no idea. John's I mean, old, so he's watching I, uh, old. He he remembers um, like Annie and. You know, that takes you. Sound of music. <laughs> Little Lord Fauntleroy. Let's look it up. Little Lord. Yep, it came right up. Hang on, I'm going to... If you guys don't know, this is my favorite thing to do. Share Chrome tabs. Little Lord Fauntleroy. It's I'm going to laugh. About a novel. It's a novel. It was published as a serial, blah, 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 blah. All right, all right. Well, I don't care about that. What does this dude look like? Images. <laughs> That's funny. That's German. I can't even see it, bro. It's way too I know. I'm gonna, I'll make one bigger. Don't worry. I'll make you big. Uh, here's one. Can you see that? Nope. What? How can you not see it? Oh, no, I'm what? a fucking cell phone, hello, Carl. Oh, no, 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 no. It took me to a new tab. I'm sorry. Uh, of course, you would actually have to be in the fucking room to see it, too, you bastard. There. All right, I'll wait for him to get back. Old people's movie. Yeah, I told you it was. Uh, always watch the guy who's not afraid to say the product sucks. Honesty selling. Yep. Honesty over selling. For sure, dude. I don't really... I mean, unless you're making money off of the sales, I don't really see the point. And even then, don't you want... I don't know. I just feel like the, the moment I don't say my true feeling on something is the moment that you guys shouldn't listen to anything I say. Not that you should anyway, but I don't know. I guess I don't know what I'm saying because you shouldn't listen to me to begin with. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. Does it matter if I have integrity or not? I don't know. Maybe not. I'm going to sell out, guys. I'm selling out. I'm calling Savivi tomorrow. <laughs> Just kidding. They would tell me to fuck off because I have roasted, like, Nine of their knives at this point. I got another one coming. Yeah, right. I got the Savivi Brazen review coming soon. That one was another fucking same old, same old. They, dude, they literally take, I think they took three designs from the beginning when they first came out with Savivi. And they've just taken those three and they have a computer that just randomly generates knives now. Um, and it just throws this blade shape, that handle, and this deployment method. It just kind of rotates. And that's how they come out with all these knives. Can you see it now? Little fark ward? Yep. Well, I went in the room to grab my fucking tablet, so I saw it. Ah, there you I go. I nothing like that, sir. 
Yeah, I don't know. I think he was thinking there was a couple images where he had short hair and it was like it was like kind of flat up top and then on the sides it was like curled up like French style. That's kind of okay. what your hair looks like right now. Yeah, this is me who uh, I I just took a shower and my girl was like, hey, let's barbecue. And I'm like, fuck it, let's go. And I just went and did that and came back and did this. And yeah, I don't fucking care enough. Yeah. She said the resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> <laughs> I say she because she's, she's the only she's the only woman watching. That. <laughs> <laughs> nah, there's got to be somebody else. Sue Chicken's got to be out there. Is Sue Chicken a woman? I'm pretty sure it is. I would laugh at the man. <laughs> I think people like MC and Nick and Slicey too have their place in the community, but I've slowly stopped watching all of them because, like you said, I don't need most of the info they say. So that's my Very that is true. my point. And I'm not trying to say they're bad. I'm not saying that at all. They're great. I mean, look at them. Their channels are huge for a reason. Um, but they cater to the noob. And then they build their own then they build their own little community out of that, right? And of course, people are gonna stick with people they like. It makes sense. There's probably a lot of people that get into knives, start watching those channels and never really watch much else because they just are in that community. You know, like they're in Slicey's world or whatever. What do they call that when, uh, like a Discord or whatever? I don't know. Those dudes have like groups. You know what I mean? Uh, Patreon, Discord. Like yeah. Shadow Rangers on Facebook. Have you heard of it? Shut the hell up, Kevin. That reminds me. Go check out Shadow Rangers on Facebook. It's a cool group. I make a weekly post in there because I forget all the time. I suck at Facebook. I just don't have time for it. Like, I, I spend so much of my time. Like, I have a full-time job, right? That's a thing. And then I spend an assload of my time on YouTube and Instagram. I just Adding Facebook is just so hard. Um, trying to keep up with comments in there and replying to everybody and stuff. Like, yeah, it's hard. Hell videos, bro. Yeah, it's true. But they're not it's not that hard. You do a lot of editing. I just sit down and ramble and then I post it. Like it takes yeah, time to but, edit and post, but it's not like crazy amount of time. So yeah, but the algorithm responds to constant uploads. So right. if you're uploading every day, every other day, you're gonna get bigger. Like me on a good day or on, on a if everything goes according to the plan, once a week. Maybe. I think I'm I think I'm going on like nineteen days now without a video, so Yeah, but you have like don't you have how many subs? You have like two thousand, right? Almost. It's like uh, yeah. nineteen hundred or something like that. I don't fucking know. I All right. don't know. So clearly <laughs> the algorithm is working for you too. Yeah. Yeah, but I've been doing this longer than both of you than both you, Jake, fucking uh the other Kyle, like this is my third year on YouTube, bro. You guys are doing like six right. months a year. No hella subs. To be fair, yeah, I don't care. But that's, like, for me, this is just fun. And if I do a whole bunch of videos over and over and over again, it stops being fun to me. So I don't give a fuck if I grow. Like, Right. Well, that's the attitude you got to have because I don't give a shit either. Like, I make the amount of videos I do because it's fun. Like, I want to talk about this sh shitty ass knife. And tell people about it. Um, but again, like you just said, if you put out a, a video a week, it's going to take longer to grow. Yeah, unless I had 1,914 subscribers. I had 13 a minute. That's awesome. Number 14. I love you. <laughs> I mean, that's awesome. Like, I don't know. I just think if you do it every – like, I post two a day. So, yeah, it's going to go a little faster, yeah, fuck, I guess. Fuck that. Oh, unless – yeah, but it doesn't. I don't know. People say that, but it's 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 not really like some crazy. It's not like a job. Like I do it at night. I'll film. I can film like five videos in a day, all in a row in like an hour and a half period. And then now I have three days worth of stuff. Like, and then I'll yes. I'll think of random shit and I'll just do it. Yeah, but see, with with you, bro, you can actually keep on track for the most part. And look at me, you're getting paid. Look, Look up, up Lollipop, Lollipop Kid on Wizard of Oz. 
<laughs> All right. Well, he, he did a super chat. So, first off, he gets a ball sack. Here's your oh, ball sack. Man. Right here. Oh, wait. Double ball sack for Matt. Look at that. Bang. <laughs> uh, double ball sack. And then I'm going to look this up. Uh, what were you saying? Sorry. It's all good. Uh, but no, I was saying, like, for you, you can actually talk. It, for the most part, makes sense. It's, it's entertaining or whatever. I just fucking ramble. Like, I will literally record, like, a 50-minute video, and I'll cut it down to, like, 13, because almost all of it is nonsense. So you have that gift to where you're kind of off track. I mean, you're fucking off track, but at least it's entertaining. Mine's just like a slow fucking car crash, so I have to end. <laughs> and that takes <laughs> hours. I don't know. I'm not, I guess, yeah. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. Can we do this on YouTube? Little boy. Holy fuck. I'm being careful because, like, I don't know. For some reason, I feel like, yeah, this could have some kind of backfire situation here. That'd be funny. Demonetize. Smell us off like style. Uh, they can suck my balls if they want to demonetize me. I can care less. Can you hear that? Nope. Damn it. Ah, fuck. You can't hear it? Nope. I can see it, though, and my ginger ass is getting sadder as we speak. All right. There we go. Hang on. I got to redo it, and I got to enable audio. Oh, wow. All right. I'm going to make it big. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Hey, tell me why the blue one has the, the uh, other Kyle's hairline, though. That was classic. I oh, yeah. like... That was just a combination of YouTubers right there. You were just one of them. Um, <laughs> who is this? Why well, left? He looks like Curly from Three Stooges. <laughs> I never oh, even. You know what? Fuck you! I'm looking that up too now. <laughs> yeah, you kind of do though, bro. Really? Yep. All right. Fuck you guys. Hang on. I didn't watch enough. Uh, Three Stooges growing up, so I gotta I gotta look this up real quick. It's okay. You look like uh, Larry or from the three uh, Curly from the Three Stooges. I look like a melted version of Gumby. So, All right, well, what am I watching? Just a random one here. Woman <laughs> haters. Yeah, great. No, let's watch. Wow. Oh. Sorry, Lindy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you didn't come here for that. I know you guys are all getting into that. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll get but... into it, man. I was like, come on. <laughs> I'm going to watch Kevin get slapped. I just slapped I myself it. twice. You didn't see that? Oh, that, hurt. It. that actually hurt, dude. Yeah. Fuck. My kid does that to me now. That's Apparently, when they turn 10 months, they're just like, pah, pah, pah. like what the hell? You're supposed to love me, kid. Dude, she's 10 months old stuff. already? Uh, Almost 11, dude. She'll be 11 months. Oh, time flies. Yeah, in June June 9th, she'll be 11 months. Yeah. That is crazy as fuck. <laughs> My daughter just turned six. Damn. Yeah, I can't even imagine her being... Yeah. Right now, like, she's... Adelaide, happy birthday. She's like, My birthday's alive. I'm like, girl, you're too old. For, or you're too young for this shit. <laughs> going through, her, going through her, her teen angst at six years old. Yeah. Oh, man. Like, this I, don't even, I don't even want to think about her being like a teenager. Oh, God. Bro, I was like, what do you want for your birthday? Dead. Died. <laughs> like, what the fuck? What? You said dead? Okay. No, it's, all right. So, um, yeah, please I was watching explain. a movie with her when she was like three years old, right? And literally, somebody got shot. And I was like, oh, fuck. And no, that was coming up with a, like a PG-13 movie. Um, and uh, so I had to explain to her what death was. <laughs> and afterwards, she goes, so he's dead. I'm like, yes. Dead? Died. Dead, died. <laughs> and she never stopped doing that shit. 
No, oh, man, that sucks. Adelaide, Adelaide, one more dinner, died. Adelaide, <laughs> dead. Oh, my God, child. You created a monster. Uh, Grady says, chatting with everyone and bullshitting with you guys every day has been the highlight of YouTube that I never expected. Like you said, Kev, either I'm a loser or the community is just that good, right? Yeah. Uh, that's what I, I say. The community's just that good because we're all a bunch of fucking losers. Yeah, I think it's both. <laughs> Says the guy that has a fucking blue ball, co a blue ball coaster. Hey, man, I got this from... So, I got this from a viewer. He watches my channel and we, like, chatted. So, we're like buddies now, right? Anthony, he's a cool dude. And um, I can't get the dick straight. <laughs> um and he didn't just send me this, right? Like, he sent me this as a joke. But this is handmade by some lady in Canada. He sent me the business card for her. Her, her uh, company is called the Naughty... Shit, what is it called? The Naughty Whore? What? The Naughty Whore, I think. And it's like... No, no the Naughty Hooker. But it's spelled K-N-O-T-T-Y because she makes knots out of yeah. you know, the Naughty Hooker. It's kind of funny. Um... But he didn't just send me this. He sent me a pink bunny for my daughter. Like it was, it was made it was like crocheted like this, really nicely made. He sent me that for my daughter. Like that's awesome. Like you know, shit like that just makes my day when it comes to YouTube and just the knife community. Um, the kind of shit people do for each other, I think, is a lot different than most places. At least. Communities I've been in, none of them are like this, the way people treat each other, oh, uh, yeah. for the most part. Um, our boy graduates high school next week. Wow, that's awesome, Peter. Congrats, man. Yeah, that's... Well, then you got college, so you're good. Uh, next week, let's just watch a movie. Seriously, yeah. I'm thinking about it. What can we watch? Hey, you guys should vote. Um, all right. I'll pick. I vote, hey, I vote we watch uh, Peter Jackson's Dead Alive. I don't, I don't even know what that is. What is it? Trust me. You will like it. And it's very fucking quotable. And this is, a, this is Peter Jackson before he's famous, too. So you should just see, like, really cheesy fucking ultra-violent horror movies, like, yeah, that's what, he, that's what he used to do. Now he Lord of the Rings. The guy who did like, Lord of the Rings did that stuff? Yeah. All right. Well, see, great. I was going to say it has to be like 90s action. Because, like, that's my shit, right? So I was going to say Con Air. Con Air. Just because of the pink bunny thing. Because, um, you know, you don't mess with the pink bunny. <laughs> and um, I just leave the weapon. I don't know. I think you guys should vote. Put some uh, videos in the comments and uh, or movie videos. Put some movies in the comments and we'll see what we can do. I don't know how that works. Can I even like? Can I go to Netflix and log in and like play it? Um, so Netflix actually has a privacy thing where where the only thing people will see is a black screen. Where what? The only thing you'll see off of Netflix is a, is a black screen. Um, there's a way to get past that. I'm just not sure how to do it. But like, if you only if you're on your phone right now, you try to screen record Netflix. All you see is uh, a black screen. Yeah, but what if I'm showing it on a tab on my MacBook? Like maybe I've honestly I, I've never tried it. So let me see. Like I don't even know my password. To be honest. I think it's my wife's actually. I mean, if I can just put this on and, uh, wait, I know they changed it. It was like, uh, I'm telling you, man, you'll love that a lot. The movie's fucking great. Yeah. I can't remember the password. I know <laughs> they changed it to something and I can't remember it. I know part of it. Ah, it's pissing me off now. <laughs> Damn, there's got to be something I can log into. What do I have access to? Uh, Amazon, Amazon Prime, maybe Prime Video. Yeah, how does that work? Can I go to Prime? 
Sorry, I know none of you are interested in this right now, but I'm doing it because I'm crazy. That's why. All right, here we go. All right. Uh, share screen, share audio. Let's see what happens. All right, you got. You can see that, right? Um, I watched this the other day. Honest Thief. It's pretty fucking good, actually. Uh, all right, day after tomorrow. Let's just see. I just want to see if it plays. Oh, no, I'm not paying for it. You can go fuck yourself. Um, I just watched uh, Tom Clancy's Without Remorse was uh, okay. Is that the... Oh, I think I saw it. You said it was okay. It wasn't that great. It started out really good. And then it just over time kind of I was like, eh, it's not bad. I mean, I like it, but it's not special. Yeah, shit. Once we sign in... Hang on, I got to remove it so I can sign in. We're all going to watch your password, Kevin. Yeah, well, that's why I'm going to remove it while I do it. I don't remember my goddamn password. How am I supposed to remember this shit? <laughs> like, I'm just signed into everything. You know what I mean? It really is annoying the amount of passwords we have for stuff. And, like, you're supposed to just remember it all? Yeah, for me, it's pretty much all saved on my tablet, so. Approve the notification sent to your phone. Okay, I'll approve it, sure. Approve. Good. Okay. Jesus. All right, we are signed in now. Sorry, guys. Here we go. I know you wanted to watch Borat. Let's just see if it works. Can you see this? Yep. Can you hear it? Yep. I didn't know this was a TV show. I thought it was a... Um, I thought it was a movie. Mom, I'm Bora. It's now many months since I returned home from USA Day. USA I'm Day. I'm angry about the stolen election in America. And how Donald Trump oh, this is a new one. From carrying it out. After a long investigation, it turned out that thousands of valid votes were tragically counted. McDonald also say that many <laughs> dead people voted. In Kazakhstan, we have much experience with this. When people vote for the opposition, <laughs> two days later they are found dead. <laughs> okay. All right. Um so it works. We can watch Pride. Pick a movie. Ah! Borat was a great pick. I love it. People are actually... Oh, God. This is that Peter Jackson thing? Ew. Jesus, dude. This is not good. You said I would like it. <laughs> That's garbage, man. It just looks like a terrible zombie movie. I mean, it looks it like... Is, but again, it's supposed to look bad. It's by Peter Jackson. It's done hell to well. Like, it looks like an to, episode of. Uh, it looks like an episode of Evil Dead. A little bit, but again, it's supposed to look old and cheesy. The actual like, uh, effects or whatever are done really well, I and mean, it's all practical effects. There's no CGI in the movie. Besides, like. Oh, he's, so wait, he says. CJ is right. They might take down your stream if you do this. So stream no, gets uh, taken down. Wait, let me go back. Sorry, I missed all this shit because I was too busy fucking. Uh, where's the comment from him explaining it? Uh, so, hey, Kevin, so if we watch something and don't say anything at all, then yeah, then they'll take it down. But as long as we're actually commenting on it, going back and forth or whatever, they won't. Got it. Well, yeah, we would be talking and drinking and... Yeah. I don't know. I think it would be fun. Maybe we could do it like like once a month I'll do this and we'll watch a movie. I'm down. Instead of me just bullshitting constantly. You know, we'll do a monthly where Kyle comes on and we'll pick a movie and <laughs> we'll fucking watch it and we'll bullshit. That sounds like fun to me. All right. Um, I don't know if it should be 
dead whatever the hell that was though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you don't want to watch it on the live stream, at least watch it in, in your free time, bro. It's great. <laughs> All right. I I'm definitely not. the Lord. <laughs> it really reminded me of Evil Dead. Dude, it's, it's supposed to. It's supposed to be in that style. There's a random priest that knows, like, Kung Fu and shit. Starts, like, yeah, all sorts of fun, funny shit. Those movies are great when I was just, like, drunk watching TV all the time. But now, I don't know. I can't watch this shit sober. And well, we're drinking. talking about drinking and fucking watching a movie, so. And I'm a, I'm a I know. fucking guy, so. I guess that makes you make a good point. You make a good point. Blood so sport. I can drink all night, not get drunk, but I'll take like one hit of fucking weed and I'm gone. <laughs> Dude, I, I have zero tolerance for trees. I don't go anywhere near that shit anymore. Um, I tried. My dad got these like gummies one time from his friend. They were like medical. Yeah. And um, like I, I, I haven't been into smoking. Since I was like in high school, I just never, it never really, I don't know. And um, I tried it and it was like, did nothing. I was like, what the fuck are these for? They do nothing. Like, it was like these gummy circles, right? And oh. the dude was like, eat a quarter of one or whatever and, you know, be careful. Or, so I ate half of one. Nothing happened. I was like, all right. So I gave my wife, I brought it home one time and, um, I think she tried it or something, and, like, nothing happened again. And then I still had it, like, in the cabinet. And, like, a month later, I was taking my dog for a walk. I was like, fuck it. I just want to get rid of it. So I just ate a whole one. I was like, nothing's going to happen. And I got 20 minutes into that walk, and I was, like, floating, like, walking down the street. Did not know what the fuck was happening. And I was also, like, walking, because when I walked the dog... I was, like, trying to exercise, so I'm walking fast, right? So I got my heart pumping this shit, like, through it. And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, my God, I don't even know where I am. I was just, like, floating across the street. So I go, I walked to, like, my parents' house. We were, like, a couple blocks away. They were closer than my house. And I'm like, dude, I was like, I think I'm going to die. I was like, I don't know what to do. I'm just, like, chugging water, telling my mom how I'm going to die. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I went home and like just went to sleep. My wife got home at like eight thirty, and I was in bed like trying to sleep, thinking I'm gonna die. Like watching TV. That's funny. So anyway, since then I have not tried anything related to marijuana. And so I actually dated this girl named fucking Jillian Godfrey. Put her on blast right now. Um and. Uh, She'd never yeah, done old name and everything. Yeah, I know. Fuck her. <laughs> she had done. She'd never done anything, right? And she's like, "Man, I want to try weed, but like, I hate the way it tastes." I the was like, I, well, I was like, "Well, I got some friends or whatever that makes them really good at it, but you got to be careful. Like, there's, there's a lot in just one cookie." So she ate one, or uh, I, I ate one of my favorites or whatever. She said, "Oh, take a bite." Took a bite, and like, it was hella good, right? I turned right. around. And she ate six. Six? Like, she ate six, yeah. And I'm like, dude, you're gonna be fucked up. And then like maybe like a half hour passes by, and I go to the bathroom. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and like, take a piss. And I come back, and the plate's on her fucking lap, dude. She's going ha ha. She's double fist in the shit, the bad bitch. <laughs> and she's just going in, bro. And like fast forward like an hour, right? And she's like, I'm not high. And all of a sudden, it just hits her. Oh, and God. Like, my heart beating so fast. I don't know what's going on. That's what happened that. to me. She's like, I think I'm That's about to die. Me. I need to call 911. I need to go to the hospital. My heart's going to explode. I'm like, dude, do not call the cops because you're fucking high. Don't be that right. person. Right. Anyways, That's what uh, happened to me. That except I didn't she, 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 the she had me go to the store and grab her something to drink, right? And I came back or whatever. She's like, don't be bad at me. I'm really scared. And I was like, oh, God. Like five minutes later, bang, bang, bang. Open the door. I'm like, all right, officer. This is going to get bad. So I'm going to say it right now. She's really fucking high. It's just weed. It's nothing too heavy or whatever. She thinks she's going to die. 
And the cop looks at me and starts to laugh and he goes, are you serious? And I'm like, yeah. So we started making fun of the, uh, make, make fun of her ass, right? She's literally on the ground hyperventilating, just going. <laughs> and then this officer is fucking roast and they're like, take a deep breath, take a deep breath, to hold it for, for five minutes. I don't think I can do that. If you don't do that, you're gonna explode. This is like your girlfriend? <laughs> At the time, yeah. But you're I'm such a now, dick, so dude. I was, I was high too, so it's funny. Yeah. All right, so I've decided it's going to be the Goonies. All right? Okay. So, oh, and all right, Spaceballs is on the list. I'm adding that one, too. Spaceball. I'm sending these to you, Kyle, by the way, just so you know. Dude, I haven't there's, seen Spaceballs in a hell of a <laughs> There's text alerts. Well, I don't even know if I can get them. So, like, you know, we'll see. If, if I can run them on Prime, I'll do it. Um. All right. So, so far, I'm just saying, I have the DVD copy that live. Yeah, but how the fuck? How would we do that? The I Goonies, said you, asshole. The DVD? But how the yes. hell do I play that for everybody? You put it in your computer? It's a MacBook, dude. It doesn't have a CD drive. It doesn't. It's all it has is two little micro USB plugs. I have to I buy adapters for everything. Sucks, I, was, I have my tablet, my cell phone. I should show you this. I have to buy an adapter for everything. It sucks. Like, I literally had to buy a USB-C that goes into an Ethernet plug just so I can plug the internet into my laptop. That it doesn't sucks. have an Ethernet plug. MacBook's fucking weird. But anyway, the Goonies and then Spaceballs. So, I'm call I'd say next week, no, sorry, I'm gonna be at Blade Show. So I can't do that. Um, the week after that, we'll do the watch party, Lefty Live watch party, and watch the Goonies. Well, that's if Kyle can make it. If you can't make it, then we'll do it a different time. I'm down. All right, he's down. I vote right. Dead Live or uh, the Toxic Avengers. No, right, we're gonna do the Goonies first. We'll we'll get to those. We'll do the dance. What's the dance? Since the Goonies won, do ah, God damn it. Do I have I don't even have one. I sent them all back. Ah, oh, god damn it, I have I have a Malibu. <laughs> That's the curly button lock dance. You guys are lucky that I still have this. Otherwise, you wouldn't have got a button lock dance. <laughs> I don't know why they love the button lock dance, but there you go. It got, me, ridiculous. <laughs> it got me two bucks, so I'll take it. Oh, you also get a ball sack. Where's the ball sack? Here it is. Boom! Ball sack for Mateo. Double ball sack for Mateo. There you go. All right. I just realized this live stream is totally fucking ridiculous. What? I don't know. Why is everybody watching this? <laughs> I have no idea. We're not going to be here talking. Shaking down around, out. wearing a leopard squad shirt, talking about I'm watching the Goonies. I was going to ask you what that was. The 940 shirt? Yep. Button lock, truffle, shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, actually. Toxic Avengers would be cool though. All right, so I'll add that to the list. I've never heard of that. Great movie, Truman. Did you say Truman? What? <laughs> it's a trauma movie. It's the company that made it. No, ah, okay. All right, there we go. There we go. They Sing made a whole song, bunch of really ridiculous ass B movies. Like, there's What's one with like, a, a black mid midget uh, detective. That like literally hops on a stool to slap somebody over and over again. It's fucking just stupid. Yeah, and just made all the like, movies like that. What song is he talking about? Sing the song. John, maybe I was drunk last time, but what's the song? He's got to sing the Evo is Home song. The Evo is Home? Are you rapping again, Kevin? <laughs> I probably was. 
Y'all want to hear that this. That was song. a good yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, I guess they're talking about the song from my unboxing where I rap. I don't know. I can't redo that, guys. That's off the that's off the dome, if you know what I'm saying. If you know how to rap, that's what it's called. Off the dome. When you freestyle, <laughs> you can't remember that stuff. Like psh, kidding me? Uh, lefty can hit good notes. No, he can't. No, he can't. From the Neves unboxing video. Oh shit. I unbox I, I posted that today. See guys, this is the problem with the way I do my videos. I record them and I record them and I record them and I have like 20 of them stacked up. So the one I posted today, I filmed two weeks ago. <laughs> like, so I don't remember anything I did in that unboxing I posted today. Apparently, I sang a song about the Evo being home. No idea, man. We should watch it. We should watch it. We should watch it. Let's watch it. We're going to watch your video on your live stream. All right. That seems fair. <laughs> Doesn't it? I want to see the scenes. All right, hang on. Let me slide this back. All right. Sorry, I got I to gotta set up. I got to prepare. This is your fault, John. You're getting a double dose right now, guys. Sorry. That fucking stupid ass intro. Oh, my God. It's like it's like I'm a Rasta man. I picked this song too, by the way, idiot. Ah, you like that? I even picked the green hey color guys, for me. Here and I am out and about running some errands. Um, this is weird. And I got watching my own video for you a little bit. And this package right here. I sound like an idiot. Yeah, I got, I got a beer. Neve over at well, Neve's knives. Have you heard All of right. it? I'm going to go anyway, take a piss while um, you guys watch this. Yeah, perfect. Getting my baby back. Getting oh, my Evo 2.0 oh, shit, back it after it's been sharpened by Jared. I think I will probably take it apart and clean it. Look at uh, those man I boobs, get it out man. And everything those and some nice it again, man boobs right uh, there. Just because it's been a while. And the action didn't Fall look as up. drop shutty as I like when Great. I was watching his video. So we shall see. But. Jared also included some of his own knives. So this should be interesting. He was trying to find some stuff that I haven't tried yet, which, you know, it could be tough. So uh, we'll see how he fared. The unboxing knife, if I could actually unbox anything with it. I don't know why I can't cut right now. Is the Benchmade Bug Out. I'm uh, rocking some uh gym shorts right now while i'm out just getting breakfast and everything and um threw this bad boy in the pocket it's been a while I haven't carried that in a long time okay so neves knives if you haven't go check out these uh awesome channel really cool content jared is killing it over there I don't need to wait then for we got more packages. Sarah, I need to know Sarah, are empty, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure those are empty. That's funny. All right. Sorry about <laughs> that. Oh, Kyle's going too great. You guys are just Let's watching just my start, video. Guys. Cool. Let's Sweet. Just start. We have Sorry. this. Where's this dance? Put, like, or where's this song here? Is this a note? Riot K2, okay. Oh my god, where's the this? Riot K2. John, yeah, where's this song you're talking about, before, dude? I? Wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it looks different. The Ooh, handle Lost looks Boys different is good down too, here. Actually. It looks a little more like curvy. That's the one but with didn't the I have the Knife Joker song. one with the fat the vampire. Carbon? I actually like that one. It has that compound I'll add it to the list. Lost Boys. Yep, I remember Got this. It. Yeah, we remember, Kev. Did you good move night. the fuck on? Um, it, there's something about Riot ah. in-house designs that don't this do anything This guy is so for annoying. Me. Seriously. This is probably the best one I've seen. Because um, of the compound up. grind. You know, the really good detent on the flipper. Uh, the good size of it. The weight is pretty good. So this is a cool knife. That is the Riot K2. Thanks, dude. 
Put your man boobs away and open the next night. Fuck's sake. Yeah. Got this. No, it's going to have the two suns in it. Fuck me. Holy shit, there's two knives in here. Damn, dude. All right, I'm skipping ahead. Two suns. We're sort of. It. Can't listen to this idiot. This is the TS something. Okay. No. I was talking to another channel, another really good buddy, um, Joe, the Knife Whisperer, aka the Knife Licker, and um, he sent me a fantastic yeah. use of that. This feels really good. Sorry, and bang, See, all the way down you. to this part, of, like position your fingers on the handles. It's just a pain. Um, but those are really cool two sons. All right. Where's this fucking song, John? You're pissing me off right now. I think this is going to be the last one of his, and this is going to be mine. So let me just. Yes. Yeah. Please. Okay. So real quick. Thank you. Fuck. Oh, she's back, baby. She's back in the house. The <laughs> Evo 2.0. Fuck me. She's back. In the house, <laughs> I love this thing, guys. Oh my goodness! Did you hear it? That edge, holy! I didn't hear shit. Back. Did you hear it, Kyle? No, nope, I had to leave. I had to get weed. All right, all right here it is. God damn it! The Evo <laughs> two point oh oh. <laughs> in the house. <laughs> Fuck me running, dude. <laughs> I am such an idiot. I, I can't believe the shit I do. I don't even remember doing that. That was too much fun. I could not remember doing that. I wasn't even drunk. I mean, I was definitely hung over, but I was not drunk. That was like a Saturday morning. Sure, I'd be fucked up on Saturday morning. What the fuck is wrong with me, man? Blah, blah, knife, blah. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. I very much appreciate it. Uh, you get a ball sack right there. If you want to look at them as boobies, you can. Also, butt cheek, whichever one you choose. And then you get, bang, blue balls. Just for donating, you get blue balls, too. Do I get half of Super Chats? Thank you, Judge. <laughs> no, you don't get half of shit. I don't even think I get them, to be honest. Pretty sure YouTube gets all the money. Not sure how that works. I had my first month of uh, <laughs> fuck yeah, new intro. Yay, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll start using that as the intro. I gotta, I gotta talk to my manager about that. <clears throat> Just kidding, I don't have a manager. I'll talk to Nebby Club <laughs> and see if we can make an intro out of it. Um, no, dude, like, so I had my first month of being monetized, right? Last month or whatever. So, like, the first full month, I think. Maybe it was half a month. I forget. I got $168 from YouTube, from Google or whatever, for a month. And this month it says... Uh, and wait, wait, wait. you made hundred and sixty-eight dollars in one month. This month it says estimated two fifty-seven something. What the fuck, dude? That is yeah. literally the highest CPM I've ever seen. What? That's like no. I mean, I. No, 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 okay, no, no. For the size of your channel, that's hella high. I don't so, think so. So I actually have really high views, right? I make like seventy dollars a fucking month, bro. And Dirk, who has three thousand views, makes like forty dollars a month. Yeah, but two hundred dollars right. a fucking month. So again, month. hang on. Again, I do two videos a day, and I think so that makes Dirk. a difference. So does Dirk. All right, well, what is, how does he do the ads? Because when I when I do when I upload the video, I go to monetization. I hit yes, and then I hit the ads button, and you can add them in the beginning, the middle, the end, or whatever. It's like defaulted to all three, I think, and that I just leave it there, and I hit OK, and I always make sure to check skippable ads. I think so that people can skip it if they want to. 
I had YouTube Premium, so I don't even have to worry about it. I haven't watched a commercial since the Ev attack. This is why I bought YouTube Premium, because <laughs> of that fucking commercial. Uh, yeah, uh, um, uh, for me, I have where they're enabled in the start and then the finish of it. I think people that put ads in the middle, like you, are fucking assholes. I'm all, I'm I mean, all enjoying the video and getting into it. Fuck you. I don't know. I put a lot of work into it. I'm going to try to squeeze that fucking $3 out of YouTube. Hey, but seriously, you can uh, skip the shit. A month is ridiculously good and, for under 2,000 subs. And you can, you can, um, what can I say? YouTube is for, is putting ads on everybody's shit anyway. So, like, you're just not getting paid for it if you don't monetize the video. But they're putting ads on your shit anyway. Hey, so how high is your uh, CPM? I don't even know what a CPM is. Uh, so <laughs> when, you, when you go to the studio app or whatever, it'll say, yeah. like, view more statistics or whatever. And the CPM uh, yeah. is, like, is, like, how is how much money you make per 1,000 views. I never um, looked it's at like that click more per video. Million or something like that, which is supposed to be like a thousand views in like Roman or right, something. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm at the app. Now what? I'm at the app. What do you want me to do from there? Um, go to yeah, analytics. Right. Analytics. You want me to go to analytics? Yeah. Um. So on your uh, analytics, it view more reach and uh, where's it at? Reach or engagement or what? Behind the scenes, guys, you're seeing the behind the scenes shit here. So, uh, you want to put um, go scroll all the way to the bottom on revenue and hit click on um, top, top geographies by CPM. Jesus Christ. Okay, I clicked it. Now what? I mean, you just scroll down and it says how much your uh, CPM is for the United States or Canada. It says both. I mean, I only have United States, but yeah. You? It says for the last 28 days. Is that what you want? Yep. I can't even see that, bro. $7.80 for United States, $6.08 for Canada. So we're actually around the same. I'm at $7.64, which is way higher than most. Um, Dirk is at like $1.30. Um, and what does I that even mean? What? What is CPN? Um, it's clicks per like milli or some stupid shit. It's it means thousand. Like per thousand. What are they clicking? What? What are they clicking? What do you mean? Uh, it's what? how many people are watching the video. So whenever your video gets one thousand views, that's your CPM. Oh well, I never get a thousand views, dude. I I have like five videos with a thousand views. I mean, if you're making two hundred dollars a fucking month, hey, do you think it might have? Do you think it might have something to do with live streams? Days, right? Maybe it's live streams. I got like fifty dollars on this one live stream. Fifteen, thirteen, nine. Those are all live streams. <laughs> my I mean, top earning, my top earning videos are live streams. It's super chats, I guess. I don't know. So I don't really mess with the whole live stream thing, so I have no idea. Well, there you like, go, on, yeah. on average, mine's between seventy-five to eighty. Um, right now, I'm at forty-four dollars because I haven't done shit for the last nineteen days. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Look, right there. Month is ridiculous for, for YouTube for going that low. You see that giant spike? That's probably yep. when we did our last live stream on my channel. I don't know. That's I don't awesome. Care either. I could. I could literally make zero dollars and I wouldn't care, but I figure if I'm gonna do the monetization, I might as well go all in. Like fair enough. If you can't watch the ad in the middle, I'm sorry. Like maybe I'm a dick. But like it helps me a little bit because I spend an ass ton of money on this stuff. So I don't know. I figure for me, when I'm watching other people's channels, I don't mind watching the ads. I even try to watch through the ads because technically you like the 
the channel gets more revenue for ads if you watch the whole ad as opposed to just skip it. I and, skip all the ads. I'm yeah. sorry. I love you all, but fuck you. Yeah, I don't like doing that. But when I watch, <laughs> though, I just let it roll and I, I'll just watch the ad and let it go. Unless it's of attack, then I just skip it right away. Uh, but now I have premium, so I don't even, I never have ads. That's what I would recommend is get YouTube premium. I mean, I mean, it's like $14 it. a month, dude. Fuck that. Yeah. But we pay, we pay Netflix, we pay Amazon, we pay Hulu, we pay HBO, we pay all these fucking things. And I watch more YouTube than anything else. So in my head, it makes sense to pay the 15 bucks. I'd rather watch ads on Hulu. I watch less of that shit than I do YouTube. My wife watches uh what's that stupid ass sorry, it's not stupid. It's um The Midwife's Tale or whatever, Handmaid's oh. Tale. <laughs> hey, my she watches mom that shit. Right now in the other room. Handmaid's yeah. Tale. We watched we watched it together the first season or two. It just got stupid. Like yeah. It got boring and stupid, but um, she there's a new season, so she's been watching that. But that's the only time we ever use Hulu is when The Handmaid's Tale is on it. There's Dude, not, I Hulu sucks so much. Forest and Fire, it's ridiculous. Yeah, but you can watch that on Netflix. You can watch season one. You can go all, all the way up to season seven on, on Hulu. All right, let's see what's going on in the comments. I've been ignoring them. Not ignoring them, but, you know. You've been ignoring Seems them. logical says, Metal Complex is a dick. His mother named him Richard. <laughs> 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 That's a great one, dude. Love it. That's a good one to come in on. I'll watch five damn ads a video to keep the button lock dance going. <laughs> All right. That's medication right there. Just because of that. Ah, there you go. The Malibu is actually a tough butt knock dancer. It doesn't keep my rhythm very well. I don't know why. It doesn't want right, to. Whatever. Ugh, let me go ahead. grab the old music. I zone out. I zone out the ads while listening. Yeah, there you go. That's the other great thing about YouTube Premium. In my opinion, the best thing about YouTube Premium is you can turn your. You can like close your phone. So, like, I'll put on a video, and then I can turn my phone off, put it in my pocket while I'm walking with the stroller and the dog, and I can still hear. Because, like, if I'm watching a knife review, like 90% of the time I've seen the knife before. I just want to hear the opinion. Or I'm watching one of Kyle's videos, or Jake, or the other Kyle, or Chris. I'm watching one of their videos where I just like to watch all their videos because they're buddies. So I can turn it off and just have it in, in my ears while I'm walking. Um, so YouTube Premium is awesome for that. Like, I hated not being able to just, like, or the best, the other best part, I already said that was the best part, is, like, I could be watching a video, and then, like, oh, I get, a, I get an Instagram message. So now i got to switch to Instagram to check that. Well, as soon as you click Instagram, fucking it shuts off because you're not in the app anymore. With YouTube Premium, you can go to app to app to app. You can do whatever you want. It just plays in the background. Um, or you can, I think you can minimize it and like put it up in the corner of your screen or whatever. Like, um, So I, I think it's totally worth the money. Hey, Kevin, I'm a lefty right now for at least another month. Let's do a button lock dance together. Oh, God, fuck you. I hate that knife, but I'll do it. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I got a butt lock dance partner. <laughs> We're going to have to do that before every uh, movie stream that we do. God, they're all going to be Oh, I can't believe you own that knife. I was like curious. It? No. All right, but okay. So, are you gonna get rid of it? I was thinking about dying in my car in red again, like every other night I have, and then uh, I don't know. You should give <laughs> it away, dude. You should give it away. I hate it. This is such a weird night. 
It is. I'm trying to look at my knives right now to see what I could give away tonight, but I don't think I have anything that I want to give away right now. I've whittled my collection down so far. Like, it's incredible. Um, I have this row. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and I don't, I'm not going to sell them or get rid of them or give them away because, like, I don't know. Uh, you're frozen. Them. Or I'm frozen. I can't tell. Yeah, you're frozen. But it could be me because it always looks like the other person. But now we're both not frozen, right? Yep. Yeah. So, like, two-thirds of the collection is, like, Asher and Finch. Because, <laughs> like, or maybe half, I'll call it, because they sent me the knife to review or whatever, and I... I'm not going to sell them. That feels weird. Um, and then it's just like one row of 12 knives that I really like. And that's what I kept. Um, I had 65 knives when I did my collection video like a month and a half ago. And now I'm down to like under 30, I think. I've just been I selling sold shit. 40 something. And then I bought back almost 60, so it's it's constantly going back and forth. Yeah. You, it's a you have a Contigo collection. Mostly folders, a bit of everything. Yeah, they used to back in the day, I think. I feel like it was a brief period of time, though. I must have missed something. Yes. Enlighten us, Lindy Lou. <sighs> Did YouTube used to allow you to close and listen free? Or was yes. that just something that worked on Windows phones back in the day? It's something you could do back in the day, a long time ago. The fuck did I just walk into? I don't know, but I like it. <laughs> I What's up, fun. Joshua? The button lock dance. Uh, give away the towel. No, nah, man, I can't do it. If I had another one, um, I will give away one of these eventually. Um I've been talking to Kun Wu for the last week or so. I've, I've known them for the last year since I went in on the pre-order for the Ronin here. Um, but I've really been chatting with Sergio for the last like couple weeks. And um, I think we're going to do some cool stuff together. But um, we'll see how that all works out. But I may have some towels to give away. In the future, I love this knife so much. I'm just glad we were able to get that pre order set up. Um, because if if you have $170 to spend on a knife right now, I'm telling you, this is money well spent. If if you like the front flipper slash back flipper, um, I do think this knife kind of works better for lefties, but. I'm not right-handed, so I can't really know that for sure. It just seems like with a front flipper, you're going to grab the lock more if you're right-handed. Your fingers naturally land right here. But then again, the clip is not here. So if I reverse the clip back, maybe I'd be grabbing that instead. Um, but this thing is so good. $170. I just – I'm blown away. Like orange peel – Titanium, micro milling in certain areas, uh, excellent M390 uh, with an absolutely fantastic edge. Um, it does that, and it's got a Timascus pivot collar. And I mean, it's 170 bucks. Like, I don't know another knife in that range that even comes. I mean, the closest thing I have is the. Um, F5.5 from Urban EDC Supply that was the Micarta ones were 200 and they're M390 or LMAX titanium liner locks made by Riot. Um, these are some of the best values too. So, hey, I don't who know, wants just, to win the shitty trade? I can't even open it now because I'm fucking much. 
There we Come go. On. We got a giveaway knife. <laughs> is that an OTF? It's a shitty shrade OTF. Well, don't say it's shitty. If we're going to give it away, we got to... I'll pay for shipping, though. It's a true so. gem of a knife. Mix your bag and be proud. Oh, there you go. Time. It's a gem, guys. So if anybody, if anybody wants to do their... Uh, if you want to do your own shittiest knife the collection video, we're going to help you out here. And uh, you're going to get the Shrade OTF thing. <laughs> I don't know what's cool. Let's see if anybody in the comments says I want it. Kev calls the company to hey, talk to the hey, owner before he buys the knife. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> That's a cool pocket clip. That's fine. Kevin, did you and Kyle coordinate no the for Blade Show? <laughs> no, we didn't. We didn't. Hey, look. Joshua says shitty shrade sounds super. Hey, look at that. We got one. Hey, Nap Sergeant's in the house. What's up, Nap? Man, I missed a lot of stuff. Paul Windmiller took my collection down to 11 because I was funding pews. Yeah, man. I know how it is. I know how it is. Hey, Kevin, look at the blade yeah. to handle ratio on this thing, dude. My God, that's almost as bad as the uh, <laughs> Sleece Bowie here. Terrible. I don't even know where I got this thing at, dude. You don't know where you got it? Nope, been there for a while. Matt says that's a good knife to throw in the river after one use. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, I bet Kevin is a customer service nightmare. <laughs> hey, man. I work in customer service, so I expect it. And I don't I don't fuck around when it comes to that. So that's all I'll say I, there. I, I've said I, it. Everyone, until they tell me no, and I'm a straight Karen. <laughs> Can't stay, but wanted to say hi. Fuck you, Kyle. <laughs> Fuck you, second best, Kyle. Uh, I recently bought the Strider AR.75 because of Kyle. Nice. Hell yeah. Love that knife. I was told to never look gift tours in the mouth. No foul. That looks so bad. I would feel bad that would have to ship. Would had to ship. Ooh, hey, had to, well, you had to ship. Probably cost more in this <laughs> All right. If you want to win the shred shit stain of a knife, you just need to. Um, I don't know. What do you want to? What do you want to do? Because nobody's gonna want to win it. So we could just make up something stupid. A number <laughs> between. <laughs> I hate the number shit. You gotta send a video doing your own button lock dance. Yeah, that would be funny, but nobody's going to do that for that knife. I'd have to give away like a mini goblin for that. Damn. Uh, and I, I'm not doing that. <clears throat> I, Kev. Yeah, I cringed watching Kev strip that hex screw with a torch. Yeah, are, we talk are you talking about the Malibu? Hey, why are we talking about that right now? Bro, no beard. All right, Tyler. Come on, man. You got to shave occasionally. Occasionally, you gotta shave. Pick a number between one and three. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, pick a number between. Hold on a uh, second, brother. I'm gonna go grab some more shitty knives. We're gonna more, make a little smorgasbord of it. Okay. All right. Do it. Shitty knife giveaway, episode one. <laughs> Stay tuned. Kyle's going to get shittier knives. That works for me. I, I really can't find anything I want to give away. I can give away a Hank or something. Uh, but, you know, I don't know who would just want a Hank. So, anyway, Kyle has a bunch of shitty knives. That works out. Ah, sweet. I would give away this Runtley because I really will never carry this. But... It's one of the finches I own. I have all of them, so I can't. Oh, I can throw it across the room, but I can't give it away. Dick. 
A real man never has to shave. Is that true? I don't know. I feel like that's false advertising because I have to shave in a lot of places all the time and it sucks ass. Pretty sure I'm a real man, but whatever. Was doing the button lock dance while bumping Burger Man pocket knife song Goonies. Oh, I wanted to show that. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that. YouTube. I wanted to show this video from uh, Burger Man pocket knife. Yes. There we go, guys. We're watching this. Hang on. Kyle. Right, I don't have very many shit on this, apparently. But if you win, I'll buy you a fucking tie dye rainbow pink M Tech or some shit. All right, hang on a second. I got to show this real quick. All right, that was good. Here's my pocket knife. <laughs> anyway, somebody <laughs> somebody sent me that this week, and I was like, "That's a fucking hilarious." Whoever hey, you buddy. are, take I credit. Got Chris. It Some might have been Jared like who sent me that. This made the whole week. <laughs> I love this one. Hey, love it. You guys like it? You like the stupid ass dances? I wonder how many MTEX were used in that video. <laughs> Probably a lot. Burger Man is fire. I didn't even know who that was until somebody sent me that video this week. I ah, love this community. That needs to be the next community theme song. <laughs> yeah, right? I thought it was pretty dope, too. Red Wolf looks like a modern day Hitler. Oh, oh shit. that's kind of a line, bro. Damn, that's, that was, that's fire, dude. That was fucked up, Chicago. Damn, dude, that didn't even make sense. <laughs> you know, someone is getting that OTF for Christmas. Oh boy, grateful panic told me to. Ah, that's right. I think John John messaged me that or somebody 
told me John told them the macro did. Whatever. John gets credit. All right. What do you got? You got an OTF from Shrade. That's what we got. And this little fucking uh, Victorian ox. Hey, that's cool. People like that shit. And people All love right. these fucking things. All right, guys. You can win <laughs> a shitty Victorian ox. No, no, a shitty oh, yeah. Shrade. You can win a shit package, okay? It's just it's a it's a just a shitty Red Wolf package, but it does have a Victorinox in it, um, so that's cool. So um, I don't know. I'm just gonna do the pick a number thing. If anybody wants to participate in this nonsense, pick a number between uh, zero and a hundred, and um, you can start now because probably nobody's gonna want to do it anyway. I'm going to write down a number, and there it is. Zero and 100. We'll pick the winner, and then uh, i got to wrap this up because uh, it's getting late. It is Thirsty Thursday, though, so that's awesome. Tomorrow's Friday. Then it's Memorial Day weekend, guys, and we all going to get drunk, and we all going to do the pocket knife dance. Anyway. So there we go. Oh, look, people actually give a shit. Wow, look at that. There's a lot of people leaving numbers. Okay. Um, what? I'm going to let that run till my watch says 10 12, and then I'll stop it. It's 10 o'clock right now? It's 7 11 for me. It's 10 11, actually, not 10 o'clock. Come on, man. That music video is pretty good. Almost as good as the Evo song that I did, but not quite. Evo, I'm coming. Oh. Evo, it's home. It's right here. <laughs> it made it home. I love this knife. I just wish the detent was a little stronger, but I probably say that about everything. I still need to try one of the twos. I've only had the one. Greatest song of all time, Finder's Fee. <laughs> Sweet, but I'm not giving that finder's fee up. Your finder's fee is a great I didn't find that song. But, of course, you get a ball sack. Right there, Ian. Ball sack, all for you. And then, a blue ball sack. Look at that. It's even going to hit you in the face. Look at that, Ian. <laughs> it's Bop. in 3D. Bop. <laughs> Thank you, Ian. Very much appreciated, brother. It helps my CPMs. Interactive um, VR content right here. Awesome I honestly place. have no clue what CPMs are or CMPs. <laughs> That's how much I give a shit about YouTube analytics. They can suck my balls. They could they could literally demonetize me tomorrow. I would fucking jump for glee. Although, I don't, much else. I don't mind the 200 bucks. It's okay. Kevin, I'm entering, so I send you that OTF to review. Oh, fuck you, man. No. <laughs> That's actually just rude. Okay, stop. <clears throat> we only got like 10 people who entered. All right, guys, the number was 56. Oh, I see a 57, I think. It's all 57. Ah, 57, Max. Ty Kander. Hey. He he entered like ten numbers. You can't do that. All right, I gotta backtrack. Shit, I meant to say you can. He entered like seventy times. <laughs> oh my I god! I resent okay. it. New rule: you can't enter more than one fucking time, dude. His first one was twelve. Uh, seventy-four, twenty-seven. Man, he still might be the closest. No, uh, 44, 63, 73, 100. Man, Max, you're a dick, dude. Seriously. I mean, you're kind of a dick for doing that. But uh, I technically did not say anything. So you're not really a dick, but you're a dick. Love you. I love you, though. Just saying. Uh, give it to Max. He keeps Y'all know Kevin loves dick. Yeah, we're just going to give it to Max, guys. He tried really hard. Like, he tried really hard. Chicago, at the end there, he tried hard, too, but he kept guessing the same number over and over. So that's kind of <laughs> pointless. <laughs> All 
Um, I respect this enthusiasm. He enters like a thousand times. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> You're going to win it on effort alone. And because it's not nice enough for me to give a fuck. Otherwise, I'd be calling you out and shutting you down. But you win. <laughs> Max Tykander. I think he lives in, like, fucking Sweden, though. So that's going to be fun. Wow. You fucking dick. Yeah. No, he lives in uh, Greenland. I think I'm right about that. I told you I'd pay for shipping. I'll pay 20 bucks towards shipping. How about that? Does that sound fair? It's probably not going to cost more than that. Fucking hope not. <laughs> if it does, just let me know, dude. I got you. I got I got, I got. got YouTube ad money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I really don't. I'm poor as fuck. Um, he says, I I'd be wealthy 56. if I stopped buying knives. What? I'd be decently wealthy if I stopped buying knives. Happy rich as shit. Don't tell my wife. I buy so many fucking expensive knives. I literally Yo. bought two, two of the new Chavez today. That, uh, that tech thing? No, nah, uh, it's the uh, it's a Chavez two two nine Liberation. It's supposed yeah. to be like longer, so it might actually cut my fucking hands. Yeah, that night I loved the blackout I had, and I had a G ten one, and I shoot me, I had like three of them, but. I don't know. They're just too pokey, stabby. Yeah, I, was, all. I was drunk as hell, right? So like, I got one called the Silver Bullet. Yeah, it's that's like a good all, one. Like, it's, like a, it's supposed to be like a 150 or whatever. Yeah, it's um, all tied. Yeah. And then uh, I was like, oh, cool. And he's like, hey, well, you know, so I has like a slightly bent tip. Like, I'm deeper for, I think it was like 200 bucks. I was like, sold. I don't fucking need two knives. He's just drunk. But like, oh, it was the deal. That's hilarious. Watch, I'm gonna get there. This whole thing is bent in half. Like, like oh, hundred bucks, forget it. Matt says Kevin shipping is gonna cost more than the OTF cost. Send him a ten dollar Amazon gift coupon <laughs> instead. No, he's gonna get a OTF. He's gonna get a, a whatever it's called, Victorinox Cadet. He's gonna get some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Go It'll be good, guys. We don't we don't mess around here on Lefty Live. Hey, what do you guys think of the new logo? By the way, I got that made this week. A buddy did that for me. I think it looks pretty dope. Um, yeah, I gotta wrap this up. He wins all of these knives. It's not actually Friday. It's Friday Eve. Um, yeah, I know for you it's only like seven o'clock, so it feels weird. But seven seventeen. But yeah, uh, Max, hit up Kyle. The only way you're getting this shit is if you actually message Kyle on Instagram, Red Wolf EDC, and tell him that you won, and then he'll send me the bill for shipping. Fuck it. Whatever it costs, dude, I'll cover it. All right? Just, <laughs> or you know what? Give me his address. I'll get you the label, because you fucking go to UPS and you fucking have them do it, and then they charge you an ass load. If you just do it on pirate ship, it'll cost like half of whatever. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't want to buy a printer. I bought one, and then it didn't fucking work, and I got mad at it, and then returned it, and I don't want to buy another. <laughs> Still though, dude, I don't want to fucking. <laughs> I'm not paying fifty bucks to ship him that stuff. So we gotta figure something out here. Yeah, Send it I, to I, me. I get it. Send it to me first class for three dollars, and then I'll ship it to him. <laughs> hey, if you want to check out any, any more knives, you know, I can definitely do that. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll talk. Thanks for wanting to see the uh, Spidey Spend the Thirty One. Uh, I know, but I just I don't like CRK, man. <laughs> oh shit! I almost dropped my beer. Wow, that was, <laughs> almost had a heart attack. Um, <laughs> think, <laughs> They come in lefty, so like, it feels weird. Jason Brown says, Hey, Kevin, say that's my purse. I don't know. Oh, you. Bro, your face. That's my purse. I don't know. You. I don't get it. Hey, that's my purse. I don't know you. Basically, yeah. Uh, what is he talking about? That's I'm my purse. Not sure. I don't know you. Are you trying to say I look like a woman? <laughs> I don't know. Say something. Uh, say hello. Say hello. I'm going to talk to you. I'm kind of hoping Max just, like, doesn't remember he won. 
Hello, Sarah Hunting. Uh, yeah, guys, Hi, we're going to roll out. Hunting. Gotta go. There you go. There's a weed. It's That's all you want me for. Thursday. I hope you guys had a good time here. Uh, next week, I will be in Atlanta at Blade motherfucking show. And Thursday, I'll literally be driving 12 hours to get there. Um, so, yeah, I'm not doing one next Thursday. Pretty sure. Unless I get there and I get to the hotel and Kyle and I want to do it, I don't know, do it like a live stream, not it. Um, we'll see what happens. But we're definitely doing On the Edge next, not this Saturday, next Saturday from Blade Show. We may do other live streams from Blade Show just for fun. Um I don't know why. Why didn't you come, Kyle? You were going to go, and then you said you weren't going to come. Uh, Leon Ma bullshit. What does that have to do with it? I'm just an angry person. So, you, what, you just don't want to run into Leon Ma? I'd probably fucking fight him. That's stupid. Why, though? Because I'm a, I'm a stupid fucking person. I'm literally saying it. Like, All right, you are stupid. I got like, angry that makes no me. sense. Okay. You heard it from the man himself. He's stupid. Uh, uh, I will be yeah. drunk on my couch buying knives, so I'll be cool. <laughs> All right, that's cool. But, yeah, so don't expect an episode next week. I might try anyway because that's what I do, but we'll see. Um, and then we'll do the watch party for Goonies in a couple weeks. Kyle will be there because he's the uh, companion uh, for – Lefty live watch parties now. Official companion. Get it? Goonies companion. Uh, you give the prize to someone else, man. I just like to support the program. Oh, I'm from Maine. <laughs> Fuck me. I swear I thought you were from Greenland. Who was that? <laughs> anyway. All right, dude. Just send, just send Kyle your address. If you're in Maine, it's 